Hello everyone, it's another day and it's another router. This time it is a Thompson Technicolor TG589VACV2 router, uh, which is an Ethernet router and also has a VDSL port on it. So you've got a VDSL port there, and uh, the red socket here is the Ethernet port if you had a Ethernet based ISP. So This is what it looks like normally on the back next to the power socket you've got a power button but also a hole there which you can put a paper clip into to factory reset the router. If you do a very short press it does absolutely nothing the router stays exactly as it is and it doesn't reboot. So I'm going to put this paper clip in and I'll let you know when I'm going to press it. You have to press it for about five seconds and then let go. So I'm going to press it now. That's five seconds. I've now taken it out and it will now reboot. What you'll see on the computer screen, which I've superimposed, is on the right side is the IP address of it in its non-default state. And on the left side is the IP address of this router when it's in its default state. So it's 192.168.1.1 for the variant of firmware which is on this. It's also important to note that different ISPs will come with different firmware versions for this router and Thompson or Technicolor don't make firmware publicly available. If you want to firmware update your router you will need to ask your internet provider for the firmware file or more likely uh, for them to remotely upgrade the firmware on your router. So this is now in the process of starting up again. Power light goes red and takes quite a long time before it's booted and ready. Well, it takes longer than I thought to start up. And finally, it started doing something. It started responding on the network, which you can see on the left side. It's responding on 192.168.1.1. And uh, over here, just off the edge of the uh, video, I can see it is not quite. Don't, now it has. It has just started up its WAN connect. That light would normally go green, but because I haven't programmed it with my ISP username and password, it'll just sit there and flash uh, red, which means that it's being rejected username and password. So there we go. That's how you factory reset one of these routers. Hopefully the video has been helpful to you. If it has, it'd be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.